Hey guys, Meeks here, Yoga Hippie Channel. Today I want to find out how many women out there would head to the beach sporting underarm, bikini and leg hair. I was watching a vlog by somebody I love and am subscribed to her channel the other day and she's in New Zealand and she loves being the hairy woman and she's a big advocate for it. I love the idea of it but I don't know that I'm ready to fully embrace that whole let's hit the beach and show our underarm hair or even if I dye it it's not going to work for me. So how many of you guys out there would rock up to the beach in Oz sporting bikini underarm and leg hair? I know over winter we all get a little bit lazy and go, I'll just do the eyebrows if you need to do the eyebrows. I never do mine. Mine are just the way they are. But those of us that do, we do it. But our underarms and our leg hair and our bikini hair are all hidden by the whole winter woolly thing. So how many of us would allow ourselves to keep our winter hair and then head to the beach as soon as spring comes? or the river, or any populated pool area. I'd love to know because I can't. I would die of embarrassment because I am one of those people, I get little pimples on my legs when the hair starts to grow back. And um, everybody that knows me turns around and goes, you can't even see the hair. I can see it. And if I can see it, I'm sure the world can see it. So I, am I in the vain majority or the vain minority? Let me know what your opinion is. Would you go with whole bikini and not shave? Would you allow your pubic hair to be coming out? Would you do the whole underarm? Yep, let's dye it like a unicorn tail. I don't know. I reckon most women in Australia would have to turn up the beach pretty much the way we've been bred to do it. No hair under the arms, or if there is, it's only like the day old or so. Definitely no hair around the bikini line. I don't know any woman who would allow the big hair around the bikini line to be a must. And leg hair, mm, one or two days, I reckon. If you haven't had them waxed and the hair's starting to grow back and it's starting to get prickly, I'm pretty sure we all think everybody can see it. Who wants to know? Would I encourage my own daughters to shave before they go to the beach? Hmm. Probably when they're in their 20s, definitely. But I don't know. I'd probably also say it's their choice. Would you? Do you encourage your child? I'm a big advocate for living as you are and being free to be who you are. But this subject has me stumped. This subject is one that I don't know whether we should or shouldn't. Should we embrace our masculine side and go hairy? Or should we just stick with the let's have no hair thing going on? I know my husband, Stuart, he's not a worry. He doesn't care. He, whatever I want to do, he will do. But I was going to give him a Brazilian for his birthday. I chickened out halfway through. I thought, nah, this is just not for me. And I was doing it myself because I'm able to do it, but you know, I'd happily do it for anybody else. But I couldn't quite succumb to doing it on myself. What about you? Have you had a Brazilian? Are you one of the very few 30-somethings that, or 40-somethings, 50-somethings that haven't had a Brazilian yet? I haven't. I have gone partial, but I haven't quite gone way. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are, because this subject just has me absolutely confused. All right, talk to you soon. Stay cool, everyone. And remember, you are absolutely gorgeous the way you are. If you like what you're watching, subscribe to us. Press the little bell so you don't miss anything. 
or come and see us at our Patreon channel, www.patreon.com forward slash yoga hippies and become a exclusive patron where we post everything that you see nowhere else on the internet. So jump on and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.